All right, so with the warmer temperatures we're experiencing, often bring us the question as to how hot is it going to be this summer? You know, we ask questions like, you know, are we going to see temperatures above average this summer? Are we going to uh, have, you know, significant storms this summer? You know, is the hurricane season going to be pretty active this year? And these are lots of questions that a lot of the, the public just wants to know because they want to be prepared. And, you know, it's, un it's understandable, you know, we've had Hurricane Sandy, that unprecedented storm that I'm still, you know, I still remember to this day. That was a storm that occurred almost eight months ago, and I still remember clearly everything that happened with that storm. And everybody who lives in the New York area remembers how devastating that storm was. It was not even a hurricane when it came here. It was a post-tropical storm transformed into a devastating nor'easter, but, you know, they kind of kept it as a hurricane because that's what it was. I mean, it was a hurricane before it came here, but nonetheless, whatever this thing was, whoa, microphone, <laughs> whatever this thing was, it was pretty bad. So now people are wondering, like, what's going to happen this year? Is it going to be a significant storm? Is Are we going to have, uh, you know, the deadly effects? Are we going to have another super storm like we had, you know, back in October? So all these things are questions that people just want to know. And here is one answer. The Weather Channel already has an answer to that question. I'm going to read this as I see it on the screen. Uh, it says here that the Weather Channel has released its first 2013 Atlantic hurricane outlook calling for another active hurricane season. In fact, the forecast calls for 16 named storms, nine of which are expected to become hurricanes. So that's nine hurricanes, uh, nine opportunities for hurricanes to make landfall on the United States. And five of them will be major hurricanes. That is a uh, category three or greater hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Uh, these forecast numbers are above the average of the 1950 to 2012 average of 12 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes, and actually is slightly above the averages from the current active era from 95 to 2012 with 15 named storms, eight hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. Uh, three straight hurricane seasons, you know, the past three hurricane seasons, 2011, uh, excuse me, 2010, 2011, and 2012, we've had 19 storms. Seven Atlantic seasons have had more hurricanes than the last season's 10 hurricanes. Among the four U.S. landfalls where the most intense tropical cyclone was prior to June 1st was the ter uh, tropical storm Burrow, a soaking tropical storm Debbie, and a painfully slow hurricane Isaac, and one of the most destructive storms in U.S. history, Superstorm Sandy. Now, it wasn't really called a hurricane. They're kind of clarifying this today because they're saying that the storm became post-tropical right before landfall. But nonetheless, it had the hurricane characteristics right before that. So that is why it became called Superstorm Sandy, a hybrid between a nor'easter and a hurricane together, creating a perfect storm. That's what happened back in October. So uh, the meteorologists have uh, perfected this, you know, so to say they've pretty much been on par with their forecast for the last, you know, several years with, you know, predicting how the seasons are going to play out. And uh, the reason why they're predicting an above average season this year is because of the anomalous weather pattern that we saw in March. You know, there is a sharp increase in sea surface temperatures in the tropical North Atlantic, according to Dr. Todd Crawford, chief meteorologist for Weather Services International, which is part of the weather company. While still three months before the hurricane season officially begins, he says, this is the early warning of the tropical waters becoming uh, pretty significant. And an active temperature, uh, excuse me, an active season is in store according to the statistical forecasting models and confirms this hypothesis. And he says here, quote, our current forecast may be a, a bit conservative if the warm tropical ocean waters persist heading into the season. So he's saying that this forecast is conservative. That means that it's potentially going to be even worse than what they're forecasting right now. So you know what? I hate to say this, but we could have a repeat of the hurricane season of 2005. And my God, was that a crazy season? In fact, they went through two names. Excuse me. Wow, I just, uh, just spit right there. <laughs> they went to two hurricane names. I mean, they went through the entire list of hurricanes that they had, you know, the names for... 2005, and then they went through the entire list of the Greek lettered hurricanes in 2005. So that just goes to show they had about 29 name storms back in 05. So, you know, we might see that again. Of course, hopefully, we don't see that. 
But they're saying that it won't be out of the question or out of the ordinary to see this happening because of the warmer than usual tropical waters. Uh, there is one potential fly in the ointment, and that's because of the El Nino event. And what that means is with El Nino, it, pre it pretty much you know, predicts the El Nino produces strong wind shear. And when we have strong wind shear, that hinders tropical development because you have to have you know, the winds remaining calm so that the, you know, so that the low pressure systems associated with the tropical waves, which are often the predecessors to these major hurricanes, you know, the tropical wave has to pretty much be organized to develop into a hurricane. So when you have a lot of winds in place, the upper level winds, that's going to produce wind shear. And then you have issues with the hurricane trying to organize itself. So therefore we prevent hurricanes from forming period because of the wind shear. And that's going to be prevalent this summer. So that might kind of abate the forecast a bit. So that's good news. You know, strong wind shear is a good thing. In 2008, that was pretty much what happened, you know. Strong wind shear prevented lots of hurricanes from forming. Uh, actually, no, that was the year after 2005, I should say. 2006, that was the year where we had pretty much no hurricane making landfall in the United States. What a drastic change, right, compared to the year before in 2005, where you had, like, so many hurricanes making landfall. So that's what's going to happen. But despite, you know, El Nino, despite the fly in the ointment, despite, you know, this, you know, warmer temperature, we have to be prepared. And that's what we're going to be doing this year. You know, we've learned our lessons year after year. We learned our lesson with Hurricane Katrina back in 2005. Hopefully we've learned our lessons in 2012 with Hurricane Sandy. So this year, 2013, we're hoping that we can combat this at a decent rate. Speaking of Hurricane Sandy, uh, there are a lot of, you know, areas still to this date. We're eight months into this post-Sandy uh, disaster. There are still several areas, you know, that have yet to recover significantly from the storm. In fact, uh, Long Beach has uh, lots of uh, issues right now. In fact, they're not going to be, you know, ready this summer, this coming summer season. Who knows if they're going to be ready to deal with the tourism that's going to be happening out there. The boardwalk was completely washed away in many parts. In fact, uh, there are some areas in the beach that are completely unrecognizable. You see the rocks as low as uh, well all the way down. So there's no sand at all because the erosion that occurred because of that storm, Hurricane Sandy, was tremendous. And that's what's happening right now. They're hoping that, you know, this year they can use, obviously we hope we have a quieter hurricane year so that they can recover. It's going to take many, many years to get a hurricane, uh, to get Long Beach back to the way it was prior to Sandy. And uh, of course, the Jersey Shore, we saw the entire roller coaster literally in the ocean. They're not going to be ready at all this summer. In fact, they're going to take another year off. So hopefully by next uh, 2014... Pending that there are no hurricanes, of course, we hope to never see a hurricane like Sandy ever come around here again, but you just never know with this new climate change and all that, so it's hard to really predict, but you know, you can only hope that that doesn't happen in New Jersey again. So hopefully they'll have this year and the year after to recover from this devastating previous hurricane that we've had that we also remember. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, that was just a quick thing I wanted to share with you guys from the Weather Channel. They're saying an above average season, but again, El Nino might abate that, and uh, hopefully that's going to happen. Hopefully we won't see any issues once again. That's pretty much it. Vladimir Florestal reporting from New York. Have a great one.